Welcome back to Everything's Funny at 3 a.m. It's Dub still playing Dreadout. Trying to figure out what the hell we're supposed to be doing here. Stuck at this bridge. Can go up there? Oh, I can go up here. Oh, I've already been up here. Hooray. Hmm. See anything odd? Still, where exactly are we? Hmm. Hmm. Let me try checking the GPS. I could have sworn... No, I'm positive I took the right road. Well, that's really strange. This town isn't showing up on the map at all. Will you fucking get us... You, you drive the car! Get us out of here! Maybe I have to wear out everybody's speech. What are we supposed to do now? Dad? Come on, Dad. Pick up. Where are you? Why won't you just pick up the phone? Ah, voicemail. God damn, what a wreck. With a bridge that size, this is a disaster. Well, this is just great. It's kind of like a horror movie, isn't it? Oh, you know, the first one to die is usually a perky girl. Just like you, Sally. <laughs> Better be careful. <laughs> what? That is so not funny. If I die, I'm totally going to haunt you. Well, as long as the ghost looks like you, I won't be complaining. <laughs> Ugh, as if. In your dreams, pervert. What is it, Lynn? Hold on a sec. Figure it out, bro. Uh-huh, here we go. God. Ugh. Good. We didn't waste too much time. Could have been a lot worse. Trust me. Um... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Over here. Yo, what's up? Hey, wait. Where are you going? Don't just run off like that. Come on, you bitches. This doesn't look ominous. Looks perfectly fine. Oh, wait for me. Come on, kids. Please. I'm responsible <laughs> for all of you, you know. Come on, Miss Siska. Slowly coming. That's creepy. Where the hell is that idiot going? Just running off like a jackass.
Come on, you fucking slow pokes. Where the hell is the adult? Oh, there she is. Looks almost as if the name was deliberately smudged off. Yeah, it had to be on purpose. I wonder why. Hmm, it's very odd. Oh, come on! This place is super creepy. Look, I'm already getting goosebumps. Why do we have to go in here anyway? Can't we just go home already? There's no way a natural disaster caused this. A lot of the buildings are still intact, see? Come on, quit fooling around. Let's just go back, okay? You're right, Cell. Let's just grab the others and we'll get going, okay? What happened to that idiot that ran off? Oh, this looks good. I'm leaving their asses behind. I hear you. At last, a new life in a new place. I think I'll enjoy living here. Everything seems simple and calm. The locals are very friendly too. And it helps to see a lot of foreigners around. I was lucky enough to have found a house for rent immediately and an incredibly affordable price. My landlord told me that this town went through quite a lot a few years back. Floods, massive landslides, fires. It sounds pretty rough, but the people seem to have handled themselves well enough. I'll start work at the public infirmary tomorrow. Hope everything goes well. Maybe that was it. Where the fuck is that music coming from? So they went up ahead. Mm. 
Soldier's Medal. A medal given to a dedicated soldier named Amir. Hope I didn't miss any more of these things. I heard kids playing. I wonder why this town was abandoned. Can I ride the bike? Can I ride it? Oh. Another medal. How are you doing that? How are you floating like that? Wow, you're magic. Waiting for anything scary to happen. Oh, there's what's his name? Good. Comments? Anything? Anyone? We made it to a creepy ass school, that's good. Okay, I'm going in. Elementary school? Let's sit there for a bit. Let's. Reminds me of the benches. first time we met. <laughs> you still remember, don't you? Oh, I see. Typical girl time. <laughs> hey, guys! We're about to check out the inside. Wanna come? Uh, maybe later. What the fuck? Okay, you're lost. She just slapped her in the face. Hey, why are you guys running off to? <laughs> you two stay here, okay? Where are hey, we going be now? Careful. I so need a massage. Yeah. I remember the weather was cloudy. Just like this. Our ride never showed up. We clicked right away, didn't we? We clicked right away, didn't we? Do you remember when we used to be in Girl Scouts together? Oh, who was that one teacher? He disguised himself as a pochong. A pochong. Oh, I was so freaked out. But you weren't even phased. And you threw a rock at him. 
No, it was more like the size of a boulder. <laughs> That's not cool. Come to think of it, you were always kind of like my personal bodyguard. Not for free, though. Right, sis? <laughs> hey, I haven't called you sis in a long time. This is interesting. <laughs> uh, hold on. They've been in there for a really long time. We should probably go check on them. All right, that's probably a good place to end it, and uh, we'll continue with Dreadout uh, in the next episode. Thanks for watching.